Hello, welcome. We are out and about. Now, there's a little bit of B-roll coming up over the screen. Uh, let's see how many of you can guess where I am before I actually tell you where I am. Uh, I'm out on a workshop today, um, so I won't be doing as much as I normally do in talking-wise, but I will try and fill in a little bit of where we are and what we're doing uh, as and when we're doing it. Um, the, today is wet and grey. You can see behind me it is pretty miserable looking and it's given to get even more miserable as the day goes on. My workshop client, he's got some plans for us today, so we'll see how they pan out. Uh, with the rain and the weather um, but first of all this waterfall never been here before driven past it many times and uh, I'm determined to get at least one photograph and I've seen one decent composition um, I like the big cascade behind I like this little flow coming down and I like this little pool of water this little cascade that's got like a little fountain appearing in front of it so if I can get the camera sort of wide angle lens get it down quite low I don't know if it's going to make the back look a bit small but I'm going to give it a try anyway and uh, yeah, see if I can get a couple of images from this place and then uh, we'll move on to somewhere else. Maybe going up. I think the plan is we're going to go up and up and up and up and up. Just keep going up that way and uh, see where we end up. So my camera is up on its tripod. Um, while my client is down doing what he's doing in the nice little area that we've decided is probably the better position, I've decided just to take one from further up. And I like this little image. It's not the best. Definitely not the best. I think the one I'm going to take in a moment is going to be even better. Um, but what I like about this little image is You've got the, the full extent of this chunk of the waterfall because this waterfall's huge. It's massive. And if you don't know where I am and you haven't worked it out, I'm at Moss Force in the Lake District, which is just up the road from Buttermere, which is down the bottom of the valley down there. Um, this, huge, this, is, this is a huge waterfall, but it's a lots of cascades. But I reckon it's, God, it's got to be 200 yards, maybe. You know, from the top to the It's a long, long way down. Um, but we're working on this bottom section. There's no rush. There's no panic today. We're just going to take our time, try and get the best that we can out of it. So yeah, my first shot is I've got a tiny weeny little bit of the top waterfall right at the top of the image. I'm cutting off the sky because the sky is white. And then you've got all this lovely green texture coming down. There are little bits of pink in it where the heather's coming out. And I've got this main chunk of cascade. And at the bottom, I've got a few little rocks and a little bit of water throwing on. I've got the polarizer on because it's just taking that glare out, the sort of shiny bits, and just making the water pop out a little bit more. And I've upped my f-stop to about an f-16, which has slowed me down to about a fifth of a second, which is enough to get me some movement in the water and make it look smooth and blurry without it being just mushy milk. Um, I think it works. I think it works quite nice. So first one done. I'm going to get the second one. And then uh, if I come up with something really amazing, I'll let you know. So I have come down lower now. Um, I've got myself on this little rock right in front of this little water pool. And it's like, it's almost like a little fountain where it's splashing up in front of you. Um, and it's quite a nice composition. You've got this lovely sort of line sort of leading you through it. And you've got that little main cascade behind, which has got some really nice shapes and textures to it. But I'm having to balance my shutter speed a little bit because I need it, I definitely need it faster at the bottom of the image and slower at the top of the image. So I'll put it up on the screen. I'll, what I'll do is I'll probably put three images up and show you the difference in the different f-stops I'm using because the polarizer's on the front, obviously. I'm using my Maven polarizer, as I do normal, to get rid of that glare. But I'll put the three different images up probably next to each other and show you the differences in the water. And then I'll blend the image in and put the final image in on. And just let me know what you think. Is it worth blending it? Do I get the best of both worlds by having a, sh a faster shutter speed at the bottom and a slower shutter speed at the top? Come up the waterfall a little bit higher now. Uh, we're just taking a couple of shots looking down the valley. Um, it looked really, really good. The rain came in, so it was quite hard to work with the rain, but I've got a little brolly over the top to try and keep the water spots off. Um, but looking down the valley as the rain came in, looked really, really good. And we got ourselves in a position where we could actually look down the waterfall. And I think the flow works okay. Um, let me know in the comments if you like it, because we actually put a little bit of effort in just to make sure we got it okay.
then we moved up and I've got this really nice cascade, this long, you can see the long falls section in it. Um, but I need to be a bit higher. Now, you've all seen me hold my tripod right up in the air, haven't you? So I'm going to give that a go. I'll put this shot on now from where I am with this big dominant boulder in it. Then I'm going to tilt the camera down a little bit, hold the tripod up in the air as I balance on this extremely slippery rock. Um, and just to see if I can handheld one, I'm about a tenth of a second at F8. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go, see if it works. If it does, I'll put them up side by side. Let me know which one you prefer. Um, but I just want to see if I can see into that little plunge pool because I think that's the bit that's missing even though there is a flow all the way through the image you can't see any breaks but I know the plunge pulls there and I want to have a look and see if it works so uh, yeah let's give it a go and see if I can make this one work right so I'm going to put the 10 second timer on and my client is actually being good enough to hold my uh, camera for me I mean what sort of workshop is that how brilliant is that so let's put the 10 second timer on let's focus somewhere in the background a bit more and then we'll give it a bit of a go see what happens 10 second timer hold her up keep me balanced keep it still and then we'll do it again just to make sure 10 seconds seems like a long time to be holding it up in the air And we're relying on image stabilizer. Ooh. As you can see, the waterfall is now back on the other side. It's over there. So we were going to walk up that side and have a look, but it looked pretty steep and muddy and not so much of a path. So we decided to come up the hill the other side and now I'm up here I'm impressed this looks pretty cool it really really does you've got some mountains going out that way the light's just about to hit us for a few seconds we've got all these nice ruggedy craggedy rocks and things like that and uh, yeah you're looking back down to Buttermere that direction it looks pretty cool and the waterfall looks tiny and minuscule from here but yeah what a what a view now the rain's laid off for us a little bit um, it's sort of it's clear but moody looking you can actually see I've got a shadow where the lights really bright above us so yeah it's pretty uh, pretty impressive just need to get this last little bit just up here and uh, we're done and what I am trying to do is is keep me keep my man off camera he doesn't do social media for all of his own reasons so we're just keeping him off camera so if I'm spinning around not unlike normal it's because I'm aware of where he is and I want to keep him out and uh, yeah, I like this. I like this as an image in front of us. This is pretty cool. So uh, I might just take a shot of this because I like it. much on the top oh, maybe jump this slipped <laughs> pretty much on the top having a quick nose back we've had the cameras out we've had a little spot of food to eat um, and I've taken a couple of panoramics I've done a nice big panoramic of this one um, and I did know the name of that just now and I've forgotten already what was the name of that big one hi crag hi crag that's, that's what it was. I said I was going to remember that and I forgot straight away and we're also looking back this way and I do remember that one down there that's cat bells down there because got derwent water over in that little dip um, but I've taken a couple of panoramics across here as well. I didn't film it, I just thought I'd put it out and just get it done and uh, we're going to carry on walking up a little bit further but I just wanted to let you know what we were doing but yeah I think that's really nice. It's a shame there's not a few dappled bits of light coming down and maybe a few light rays and a rainbow and a little storm and stuff like that but yeah it is what it is. So we're going to carry on and I'll probably speak to you a little bit later on. Well, I think I'm done. I know that's a bit of a random end into a video, but we're not doing waterfalls anymore, so I can't be talking about me F-stops, you know, F8, F11, and F16, which I was what I was shooting on. Um, I had no plan on what to call this video, but 
it's going to be based on those f-stops which has given me different shutter speeds um, so that's pretty much what the video has been about and just hopefully you've got to see a little bit of the variation in water speed by shooting those different things we did end up then walking up on top of this hill uh, we've just been up over the top that way and we've got a couple of nice shots of sort of a bit of sea of pink in the bottom you know we walked over to see the heather the heather's out which is quite nice um, we're right at the beginning of august uh, i think it's the fifth or the sixth today um, so yeah it's just coming out just starting to show give it a couple of weeks and it'll be nice and bright um, but we have managed to get a couple of colorful shots i've also taken a few more that direction uh, looking at the peaks and stuff and I've got a couple of cracking shots right up on the top of that ridge up there. You can see some tiny, weeny little specks of people. But with the 300mm lens, you can actually identify that they are people, even dogs. You can see a couple of dogs walking with them. And it was very minimal, very simplistic image of a sky mountain and these little dots of people walking across the top. So I did manage to get a couple of shots up there as well. Um, didn't really talk about them because there's not much to talk about in all fairness. We're going to head back down now, um, possibly get another coffee and uh, make a plan for this afternoon or this evening. Well, this is a change of location from when you last saw me. I was up on the top of some hill. <laughs> I'll put the name below for you. And I ended the video. Uh, needless to say, we've decided to come to another place for this evening. And because I know it's not gonna be a long video, I've decided to tag it on the other one. So I've not gone anywhere, I'm still here. Now, you've got a few moments. Do you know where I am? I'm heading up a gravel track or a slate track. I'm still in that Buttermere region. So yeah, you're all shouting. You know where you are, you know where you are. I've been here before. I have been here before, so drop it in the comments if you know where I am before I tell you now. I'm at Honister Pass, and my client, and I keep calling him a client, like I say, he doesn't do social media, he doesn't want to be known on social media, um, wanted to come and do the one scale boffy. Originally, it was going to be uh, day or head. But because of the weather, because of the conditions, we decided to come this way instead in the pure hope we're going to get something this evening as the sun settles. And it's a given track rather than a slippery, muddy slide down a hill. So that's where we are. That's where we're heading. I've got this last little section to get up before it levels off. And then I'll catch up with you either at Dub's Boffy or Dub's Hut or at the One Scale Boffy. As long as we can get across the river, that is. I haven't told him about the river crossing yet. <laughs> right, I'll speak to you in a little while. So I've had to stop here before we've gone down to Warren Scale because Dobbs Hut looks just amazing with that light in the background. And you've got some fantastic clouds going on in the top as well. Really moody, really atmospheric. But you're getting this little patch of light in the middle. And it just seems to making the images pop and making it more three-dimensional. Looks really, really good. The only problem is I've got that little yellow bucket down there as well. I'm going to have to clone that little yellow bucket out because that is just not very pretty. But yeah, everyone makes their way to Warren Scale Boffy because you can see down into Buttermere Valley. But this... This has got such an amazing backdrop, it's just amazing. So I had to stop and we've got some light coming across. Every so often, look at that, there's a bit of light coming across the top of the hills up there. So if we're gonna watch that and keep an eye on that, because if that makes its way down and just hits a little bit on the side of this hill, it's just gonna make it pop even more. So yeah, on the way down, first shot in the bag. Look at, look at this business going on here. We've got pink heather, which is out and it's about and we've got the light now catching some of the hills down there and stuff like that and Dobbs Boffy's just down in this little valley just here I just need to get over this ridge but you're looking down to 
bottom here and crumb of water now and it's just absolutely amazing so i've definitely taken a couple of shots straight off the old capture clip because you cannot miss this can you I mean look at that for a fantastic little shot how amazing how beautiful is that so pleased we've got a little bit of light after all this rain i think i'm going to come back a little bit further just to pull this heather in in the background a little bit if i can press that image a little bit as they say. what a beautiful little shot So we are actually at the boffy at long last and it is well full. There's four young lads stopping in the boffy. They're in for a treat tonight, a nice little, nice little hideout. Um, it's been done up. The walls have been painted inside. I've seen a local video or recent video. Uh, someone's been in a whitewash the walls. It's been tidied up. There's a new door on it. So yeah, someone's actually looking after it, which is cool. Um, I've got a little bit of pink heather in the foreground. I'm not sure whether it's hindering the shot a little bit. Um, but this is a classic, this is the classic, there's a reason it's a classic, and uh, yeah, last time I was here, I don't think I got the best image. This time, I don't think I'm gonna get the best image, but what I am getting is some light in the distance, which is quite nice, so I'm gonna take a few variations of the shot. I'm gonna make sure my camera's set up properly, because I just noticed it wasn't, and I'm gonna bang it on F11, which is gonna give me plenty of depth of field. Focus on the boffy, because that's the most important part. And then I'm just going to take a few images with the light in different places. And if I, I think I did that last time I was here. And then hopefully I'll be able to sort of paint in certain parts of the image and uh, try and get the, the light in more places than one. Because um, at the moment it's right down the bottom of bottom here uh, of the actual lake. But yeah, wide angle lens, quite, quite wide. I'm at sort of 13 mil. So on this little Fuji, that's what, 24, 25 mil, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a cracking easy shot to take you just need to get get to the location really but yeah what a nice little way to end this video so this is definitely i think the end of the video because my mic uh, my battery is about to run out uh, on the little osmo uh, i've done a couple of little time lapses just to give you an idea of what the clouds are doing in front of us the light's been coming and going it's not been fantastic in all fairness um, I might be able to make an interesting image out of it, but I don't know. We haven't got that light that you know, makes it dramatic. Um, but the, the clouds are really cool. I like the way they're wrapping over the top of the hills now and hiding the actual peaks. Um, so yeah, I might be able to make something. And there's this little tiny, weeny, tiny little bit of a magic rainbow patch in the sky. I don't actually know what it's doing, but it's been there now probably 15 minutes. And it's not disappearing. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the image. You might be able to. Uh, like I say, the light is just not giving us what we want. But we're going to hang around a bit longer. Uh, we're not going to go anywhere, but like I said, my battery's running out, so I'm going to check out now. So yeah, thanks for watching the beginning of this video where I started off with my f-stops, f8, f11, and f16, giving you that different shot of speed uh, on the water, on the waterfalls, and then we just finished off up here at Warren Scale Boffy. Been really good. Um, we've just met a couple of young ladies that came up the hill. They literally come up the bottom of the hill. And if you're watching it, hello again. I didn't catch your names. I didn't remember your names. But if you're on TikTok, I'll come and follow you. So drop me a comment and let me know where you are. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm going to check out for good now. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up. It does mean a lot. It really does help the channel move along when you do do these things. Uh, I know we keep repeating it all the time, but it does make a difference. And until next time, I'm not quite sure yet because he hasn't decided where we're going tomorrow. Our plans have changed. Uh, possibly Wastwater, I think, possibly. So yeah, that'll be in the next video. Ciao for now. See you soon. And ta-da.